Thank you very much, Janet. Well, 70% of consumers plan to cut back on spending this holiday season, which has left stores stuck with about 15 to 20% excess holiday inventory, that according to Strategic Resource Group. Now, with most of the dire retail activity happening right now in the fourth quarter of 2008, some are predicting that 2009 will see a slew of store closings. One company, though, is looking to help companies sell that extra inventory and to keep their doors open. Joining me now is Bill Angrick. He's the CEO of Liquidity Services, a stock liquidation site. Uh, Bill, good morning. Good morning, Charles. Good to be with you. Thanks. Uh, first of all, explain to our viewers what liquidi Liquidity Services does and how do you generate revenue? Sure. Well, we're a counter-cyclical uh, company. We are an online auction marketplace to help retailers, and government agencies uh, auction surplus goods and excess inventory. You know, speaking of being counter-cyclical, I looked at your fourth quarter transcripts of your last earnings report. Uh, your users are up 46 percent. Is this the only bright spot in this economy, liquidation services? Well, first, to be sure, this is a perfect storm for retailers. Uh, we've had the worst jobs numbers since 1974. Uh, consumers don't, all, don't, don't continue to have access to that easy consumer credit, so you've seen an abrupt decline in consumer spending. Our business has tripled revenues and profits since our IPO in 2006. Our buyer registrations have doubled during that period of time. In our last public quarter announced, uh, revenue was up 27 percent, and mm -hmm. we continue to see robust growth going into the holiday season. Bill, Alexis Glick spoke with Terry Lundgren, uh, the CEO of Macy's, on, uh, thanks on the day of Thanksgiving last week, actually on Black Friday. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. First and foremost is, you, know, we, you have to be focused on making sure that the inventory is gone by the end of the, the holiday season. Okay, so w we hear that, Bill. What's your plan to help a company like Macy's move that inventory? Well, retailers, the pillars of retail are liquidity, working capital flows and cost management. We help retailers in all three regards. We have a liquid buyer base of a million buyers who are prepared to pay cash for retailers' excess inventory and store return merchandise. Two, we are able to convert those assets into cash expediently. Our auctions close in two to five days so retailers can get their cash back to fund their core business. And third, cost management. We allow retailers to close warehouses and store facilities by outsourcing those activities to our business. We have over a million square feet of warehouse space in nine centers across the United States. So we really are a, a, an ally of retailers as they restructure their business as they are today. Bill, all sounds too good to be true. What are the risks to a retailer with committing to you or even trying to you know, play this liquidity game? Well, certainly, if you can't raise debt and you can't raise equity in the capital markets, which have been effectively closed, you're looking for a buyer base that can absorb large volumes of goods. And our buyers are not consumers. They're small businesses and entrepreneurs that buy from pallets to truckloads of goods. And the important thing for retailers is they pay cash. This is an all-cash marketplace. Auctions are transparent, so retailers and buyers can see the prices unfold via our internet marketplace so that brings credibility to this process for both sides. Bill, most analysts are saying that 2009 is going to actually be worse than 2008. How is your company gearing up for this? Well, as I said, we're counter-cyclical, so we've added three distribution centers over the last six months to prepare for an influx of goods from retailers. A lot of uh, uh, industry sources, including the National Retail Federation, are predicting higher store returns. Customers want to hold on to their cash so they may take more goods back. As a result, we'll see an increase in volume in our business. So we continue to grow our buyer base. We continue to grow our value-added services, such as warehouses, uh, uh, sorting processes. And we're ready to, tell, to help those retailers convert these store returns mm -hmm. and excess goods into cash. You know, through October of this year, 52,000 companies have sought protection under Chapter 7 or 11 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. That's up 21 percent year over year. What does this move, mean for your business? And I also want to ask, what other options do businesses have short of filing for bankruptcy? Well, you know, the hope for any retailer is that they can streamline their business and reemerge re as a, a smaller, leaner, more efficient organization so they can provide value to consumers. We help retailers that are healthy going concerns streamline and be more efficient. We, we take out of their business the costs of managing store returns and excess inventory liquidation to make them more efficient. I think for retailers, they want to provide extreme value to consumers, 
convenience, quality. That's the that's the uh, the ingredient that a consumer wants to continue to do business with the retail. So that's very important. The other thing we've done is we've seen these retailers as they close stores. We expect over 2,400 store closings among major national retailers in 2009. So we're helping retailers uh, liquidate store fixtures and equipment to get that cash back to their core business. Bill, uh, real quickly here, that since you're sort of at the epicenter, you know what's going on. When can we expect to see this whole retail space turn around? Well, we didn't get into it overnight. You know, this this uh, consumer credit bubble that w existed through the last six, seven, eight years is is, is slowly starting to be uh, deflated. Uh, we expect, you know, beyond 2009, you know, as we approach, you know, the holidays next year, we should all be seeing a much better tune. All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Really appreciate it.